Wow, this fish is coming way up here. I didn't even drop all the way down yet. No way that fish came all the way up here. No way. Oh, big crappie. Let's go. Holy crap. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back. Brandon here from NB Edits, and I'm hoping that you guys are having a spectacular day so far. I myself just woke up. It's about six in the morning, and I am getting ready to hit the hard water today, get out on top of some ice, and I'm gonna be chasing down some panfish. As you can tell, I've got all sorts of stuff with me here. I got everything all ready to go last night. I'm just going through prepping some stuff. We've got some new jigs and some new baits, the dinner bell. These are from Frostbite. Nick and I recently just partnered up with Frostbite. If you guys don't know who they are, make sure to check them out because they've got some good stuff here and we are going to be pounding the hard water working with this company. Got my rod and everything all set up using the inline today. Got a custom rod, but we are gonna be switching to Frostbite rods like I was saying. Also got some wax worms and stuff like that. So we are gonna be using live bait and I'm hoping to also use some plastics as well today. We got the camera gear, the Garmin, the Markham, Tip-ups, I don't think we're gonna use those. And got my Merry Christmas coffee. Take a swig of that because, uh, well, helps me wake up in the morning, not gonna lie. <sighs> Cheers, boys. So, plan of attack for today is to get on top of the panfish, but today is a little bit different day. When you are hitting the hard water, you wanna be prepared for whatever mother nature's gonna throw at you. And like I said, today is a very weird day. Uh, it's about six in the morning, just woke up, and we've got some snow, freezing rain type stuff going on, and I'm gonna be waiting until that disperses before I decide to get out and hit the water before I gotta go to work. So I am gonna be limited on time today. I'm gonna be hopefully waiting for the snow slash rain to stop, because it's kinda crappy out. That's supposed to stop around 8 a.m., I believe. Again, never know what Mother Nature has in store for us. But again, we're gonna be chasing down some panfish, bluegills, and crappies, and we're gonna be doing that with a cold front coming in tonight. We've got some crappy weather this morning, but I'm hopefully gonna be able to battle that out. I know the temperatures are gonna drop severely tonight. With that being said, I think the fish are gonna be active in the morning, and I don't know if they're gonna be nearly as active in the evening hours. So I think I've got a small window to hopefully get on top of some fish and I'm hoping to catch some big ones. So I'm gonna go ahead, finish drinking my coffee. I'm also gonna pack all of this stuff up into the vehicle. I've got a wild send ahead of me to get to the lake, but uh, that's all right. We like it, full sends for the boys. So let's go ahead, pack everything up and I will see you guys when I get on top of the ice. All right, well, we're gonna be starting with live bait just to make it a little bit easier on myself here this morning. So I'm gonna take one of my wax worms here. This little guy is hopefully gonna catch us some fish. I already got fish down on the bottom on the screen. Just put the Garmin down and uh, never a bad sign when you drill your first hole and you already find fish below you. Now we just gotta make sure that they bite. So let's go ahead. We're gonna put that grub on there. Typically, I actually like to start with plastics. I'll go with artificial just because if they're biting on that, then I don't have to waste my live bait. But since we're uh, looking to get a bite and we're looking to get a bite fast, I just wanna go ahead, drop this down there and hopefully get hooked up on some fish right away. All right, let's see here. Oh, already got fish coming in. Oh yeah, come on baby. Oh, just got tapped. Just the lightest little tap. Here we go, we got another one coming into frame. Oh, all right, well, these fish seem to be smaller. You know, I think, I think I'm think i actually gonna reel up and just see if I can find another hole. Ooh, yeah, that one got my grub. I'm willing to upsize, but I think before I do that, I wanna stay true to this tungsten jig that I'm using, and I wanna stay true to the live bait. It's been getting some looks, but uh, I don't know, these fish seem small, so I think I'm just gonna hole hop here real quick and see if we can find a bigger school of fish. All right, well, we switched holes just a little bit, not too far away, but just trying something a little bit different. And I just wanna see if maybe we get a little bit better results. Ooh, it just got smacked. Just wanted to see if we get some better results over here. Maybe we'd find a little bit bigger fish. They seem to be very finicky today. Like I was saying, we got that front coming through tonight and sometimes that really helps when you're fishing. Other times it makes it a little bit harder. Kind of hard to say before you go out what's gonna happen. You always wanna think on the bright side. There we go, that one came up and crushed it. What do we have here? 
Feels like a bluegill running. Oh yeah, nice size bluegill. There we go. Beautiful colors to that one. Very dark, very purple. Wow, that is awesome. That one came up and crushed it. That's definitely a little bit bigger than the other bites that I was getting. Like I was saying, you just never know when you've got a pressure system changing like what we've got going on right now, what's gonna happen, but nice size bluegill there, probably about an eight incher, decent one. Not an absolute giant, but that's a little piggy. We like to see that. So that one came up probably about a foot off bottom. A lot of these marks are staying true to bottom this morning, but uh, that's a nice fish right there. Pop that one right back down the hole. See you, buddy. You know, best part about that one too is it actually did, didn't even get my grub. One of the things that I like about using plastics over live bait too is that the plastics stay on a lot better. They're not perfect. Sometimes fish will steal your plastic. There's just no way around it, but a lot of times spikes and wax worms and stuff like that, they come off really easily. So, oh, this one's right on me. Oh gosh, I lift it up on them just a little bit. They are staying very true to bottom here so far this morning. <laughs> There's a few of them coming up. They're sitting about six inches off the bottom. Not a whole lot more than that. Wow, they are being extremely finicky. I think I'm going to have a really tough time using plastics if they're not taking live bait. Maybe I'm glad I actually started with live bait. Seems like I'm messing with a lot of smaller bluegills here. They're pretty tight to bottom, so I think they're bluegills. A couple of them come in really aggressive, which makes me think they're crappies, but usually crappies hit. I don't have very many issues, especially when you're using live bait, getting crappies to hit. So I'm thinking these are bluegills. I'm going to go ahead, switch to another hole, and just see if I get any better luck quick. Wow, this fish is coming way up here. I didn't even drop all the way down yet. No way that fish came all the way up here. No way. Oh, big crappie. Let's go. Holy crap, there's no way that just happened. No freaking way. Okay, let's give this guy a dunk. <laughs> Get that jig out of there. Oh my goodness, no way that just happened. Let's go, that is freaking awesome. Okay guys, so I'm in 12 feet of water, as you can see on the screen right there. And uh, <laughs> I maybe had that thing five and a half feet down and this guy just came up and clobbered it. That is freaking awesome. Probably about a 12 incher. That is nice. Whoo, let's go. That is awesome. Hopefully we just found a whole school of crappies. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and drop it back down on these fish. Like I said, guys, I barely got that thing into the water and that fish saw it so far up in the water column. I don't even know exactly where I am. Another one coming in. Oh boy. Oh, I'm not even down to bottom. Oh, that was another nice crappie. Shoot. Oh, that one felt heavy. Oh man, he's swimming away too. There's a couple more on the bottom. That was a nice crappie right there. I'm gonna go ahead and reel this up and just see if he got my wax worm. Yes, he did. Okay, good thing I reeled up. See, again, guys, that's where using plastics would come in clutch because usually they don't take them. You can just drop it right back down. That fish is coming back into frame. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I gotta hurry. Oh, it's an ice mark. Yeah, that one felt like even more of a thump than the first one put on. Oh boy, okay. Dropping it back down. Let's see if we can get that fish to come back into frame. That was a nice fish. Okay, I'm pretty much on bottom here. I'm gonna go ahead and raise it up just a little bit. Seems like the crappies don't waste any time. That's what I've noticed over the years is that the bluegills, they love sticking to bottom. Once in a while, you'll get a bigger one to come up and he'll be more aggressive. There we go, there's one. That one might be a little bluegill or maybe a small crappie. Oh, a smaller crappie. Okay. Just a little guy on that one. Oh, he almost got my grub. There we go. Go ahead and get that guy back down there right away. Just a little one. Probably about six inches or so. And we'll go make sure we got that grub back on there. Like I said, bluegills on the bottom and crappies up top. 
Very interesting to see how differently they are uh, sitting in the water column right now. Even if the crappies are on the bottom, they're still willing to come up. Whereas the bluegills, they might go about a foot off the bottom, foot and a half max, and they don't like to come much more than that, it seems like. At least not on this lake and not for these conditions. Oh, there we go. That one came way up high. Just a little one. Yep, another crappie. Woo, about that same year class. Come on, buddy, calm down. All right, there we go. Not a bad fish, probably about, eh, I would say eight inches or so. Just another little guy, very dark color to him here. That is awesome. These fish are just waxing it right now. Woo. All right, so I just wanted to show you guys what I ended up switching over to here. This guy right here has been working really well for me. If you guys ever find any plastics like this, they have been working extremely well so far this year. Today, I'm just running out of time. Now I've got some crappies on the screen all suspended, and unfortunately, I have to go. I do have to go to work today. Oh, that is so frustrating. If I could, I would literally just stay out here and fish all day because... These crappies are biting if you can find them, for sure, crappies are biting. But uh, the bluegills, they are being finicky with this front coming through. So we're going to go ahead and get everything packed up and we are going to get out of here. All right, everyone. Well, back at the house, I am not exactly sure what happened to the audio to the outro that I did by the truck when I was done fishing today, but it was absolutely cheeks, not going to lie to you. So like I said, I'm back at home, had a fun day today. I just wish I could have stayed out a lot longer. Found those crappies basically right before I had to go. Ended up catching that one nice one and I was able to get one nice size bluegill. It seemed like today a lot of the smaller fish were very finicky and you're gonna have days like that, especially when you've got crappy weather in the morning and a cold front coming through. So hopefully you guys were able to take away a little piece of something from this video. I know it wasn't a ton of fishing, but I was limited on how much time I could get out there and we made the most out of it. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to give this video a big old fat thumbs up for us. We would greatly appreciate that. We would love to do more videos like this in the future. So if you wanna see more, make sure you guys are subscribed. Also hit that notification bell. It's gonna give you an update anytime we post a video in the future. So stay tuned for more Tight Lines from NB Edits.